$180,000 Arthur J. Kupfer Memorial Final. Free for all trotters are set. Here they come. Trotting approved action is out of there. Approved action bursting out with early speed there. War paint from the inside is uh, striding out into second around the first turn with Elegant Man who tucks in third. And uh, that's Abbey Road C floating out there alongside uh, Danish Delight moves up fourth on the inside. Abbey Road C fifth. And then it's Dinkadoo uh, followed by Fool's Gold trotting from the back at this point. And it's Raging Daniel in approved action. Campbell with War Paint looking to make a move to the front here past the quarter in 27 and 3. Down on the back stretch approved action. Here comes War Paint on the outside. War Paint and Campbell wants control. Gap at two, three lengths to Elegant Man trotting in third down the back stretch. Danish Delight is fourth. Abbey Road C fifth on the inside, followed by Dinkadoo sixth. Then it's two lengths to Fool's Goal trotting from the back. They continue on down the back stretch towards the half mile. Four to five, the favorite. War Paint and Campbell by a length and a half. Approved action is second. Elegant Man is third. And they hit the half mile 56 and one. So it's War Paint in full control here. War Paint and approved action second. Committing first over. Danish Delight attacks first over. Danish Delight now being urged on from third. Tracking that cover. Abbey Road C now well positioned second over for Keith Jones now fourth on the outside. Elegant Man is back to fifth as Dinkadu looks to rally into it from third over. Sixth on the outside and Fool's Goal yet to respond now tips to the outside but it's War Paint looking to get away. War Paint at 125 and 1. War Paint trying to trot away from them. Danish Danish Delight game first over off his cover. Abbey Road C trotting through the stretch. War Paint is now on top by five. It's a War Paint drifting up but trotting fairly strongly here. Uh, strong enough to have a five length lead with approved action. On the inside, Elegant Man. Up on the outside, Dink and with late trot, but War Paint is home free and all alone and wrapped up here. Campbell has plenty. It's War Paint tight for second approved action and Elegant Man. War Paint in 153 takes the Cutler. And number two, War Paint returns to the winner's circle. Five-year-old to base, son of Malabar Man, out of Shoshan Cash by Uptown, owned by J&B Myers, Goldberg and Goldberg, trained by David Tingley. Winning driver, John Campbell. War Paint records his seventh win in nine starts this year. Recently winning five straight on the Woodbine Entertainment Circuit in Ontario. Purchased for $55,000 at the 2000 Standard Bread Horse Sale. War Paint doing it on the front end tonight in 153 here at the Big M tonight. Making the Winner's Circle presentation, Alice Cutler and Jeff Gurl. Alice Cutler, the Wife of 32 years, Arthur J. Cutler's wife for 32 years, also leaving daughters Jody and Danielle. Mr. Cutler, in addition to his horse racing endeavors, renowned for his empire of popular unusual restaurants in New York, Carmine's, named after Hall of Fame driver Carmine Abatello, Ollie's Noodle Shop and Grill, and Gabriella's and Virgil's Real Barbecue. We're here in the Arthur Cutler Winter Circle. John Campbell and Dave Tingley. John, tell us what you knew War Paint. This is the first time you've driven him. Well, uh, Dave told me about him. Just uh, had to be careful with him getting out of the gate and just not do anything sudden with him. And he said uh, if he gets back to the front that he'd be tough to beat. Uh, that he uh, really thrives on horses coming at him, and that's exactly the way he acted. You had pretty much everything rolling way out there, huh? Yeah, once he got back to the front, you know, I was able to, you know, uh, rate him the, the second half, the middle half, rather. And, uh, you know, when they came to him at, uh, around the last turn, he, he trotted off and uh, actually was eased up finishing. One of the best trotters you've driven? Well, certainly in the free-for-all ranks, yeah, he's got a chance to be. I think he's, he's a colt that's going to get better because he's relatively green yet, uh, believe it or not, and he's, and he's uh, racing at this level. So I think he's got, uh, you know, a real bright future once he figures out what he's out there for. Okay, congrats to John Campbell. Dave Tingley, I see a lot of ones on War Paint's line. Is that you training him to do that, or is that him telling you he's doing it? That's him. He's just a great horse. He's not the easiest horse to train, but, uh, you know, he has his little tricks to him. But, um, you know, I don't even think he was 100% tonight. We, you mean he's not physically not 100%? No, not 100%. Uh, there's still some work to be done. 
We haven't seen much of him here. Is that because he's so successful up north? Um, well, he fit the, the young classes. Like he, I didn't get him to his four, and he, uh, he had no money on his card, so he just got the confidence that way working up the ladder. And, uh, you know, we thought at five, usually trotters are at their best, so we staked him up this year. Breeders' crown material? Well, he's eligible, so I, I think so. Like, uh, he's got a lot more speed than that. It's just a matter of having him uh, trot in 100%. How about the near millionaire Miss Peaceful Way? How's she doing? She's pretty good. Uh, she's uh, about two weeks away from qualifying, um, prepping her for the first week in June to have her ready for the casual breeze. But she's she's close. She's okay, Dave Timley, thanks so much. Jeff Garall, one of the great friends of Harness Racing. How are you doing, sir? And tell us a little bit, for the people who don't know, what kind of guy was Arthur Cutler? Artie was a, a great guy. He loved to come to the Meadowlands. And uh, I can't say he was a great handicapper, but uh, he, loved, he loved to come here. Uh, he owned a lot of horses. And I can't say he was uh, very successful at that either. But fortunately, he was very successful in the restaurant business, so he could afford the rest. And uh, we lost him uh, at a very young age. And uh, I want to thank the Meadowlands, Chris McElane, Ted Stockman, for putting this race on every year. Uh, Alice Cutler, his widow, comes. We get about 125 of his friends, and everybody has a great time. So. He would have had a, a lot of fun owning Elegant Man, wouldn't he? Well, yeah, I kind of was hoping to win this race. I didn't want to tell these people, but, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, he would have had a lot of fun with Elegant Man, although he's kind of not, not exactly the kind of horse that uh, trotters, if you know a lot about trotters, uh, sometimes your heart is in your throat, and Elegant Man is one of those trotters. And you're, you're sponsoring a race this year, too. We're going to sponsor a, a series of races at, uh, at the Red Mile for older horses, and the, the response has been very good, especially for the Colts. Uh, I think they've got over 45 colts for both the pace and the trot, and uh, they're going to run that race on the Futurity Day, and I think it'll be one of the best races of the year and the best, one of the best cards of the year. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Jeff. Great friends of Harness Racing. Arthur Cutler, remember you. Another great race here. 153, the winner is War Paint. Once again, making the trophy presentation, Alice Cutler, Jeff Garral. To the uh, winning connections, Myers Goldberg and Goldberg trainer David Tingley, who got this horse in the middle of last year, an unraced four-year-old. Connections were ready to quit with him, but Tingley insisted on keeping on, and he has turned him into a champion with more to come for more paint. Rundown is scratch one six three seven two five.